in the old sagas in the Viking religion. Ayr, the god of the ocean, had nine daughters. And they were all super beautiful and had different names. And they were all names of different types of waves. Unur is one of those names. One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth. We had a promise made for us and then away, both under influence. I think a lot of Icelanders want the same thing as so many other people want. You know, they want the big house, the two car garage, and the flat screen TV. I've always prioritized living close to nature. I think it's where I feel the happiest and most content. I knew when Uno was born that a lot of things would change and there would be more pressure to live a normal life. I've second guessed living at the cabin and away from the city many times. We spend our days together playing in the ocean. I also worry about her missing out on all the normal kids' things. I often wonder if she will, or if she even can, appreciate this way of life as she gets older, or if it's just me being selfish. Being a parent brings up so much uncertainty. You just try to navigate it the best you can. Growing up, I spent every free moment outdoors. It was super liberating, only thinking about that single moment in front of you. I think there's a lot of positive things about spending time in nature. But it can also be a form of escapism. I want Unner to experience the same freedom and hopefully get the best parts of that life. Sometimes it's just hard to know when to share it. But as a parent, you can only dream that your kid carries on what you love most.
Já, ástu mín. Það er að fara til mömmu. Það er ekki nú spæ. Það er sástu. foolish enough to surf in Iceland. Finding these waves, you often have to drive for eight hours to the opposite side of the country. If anyone told me 10 years ago that I would be a surf photographer in Iceland, I would say that's the most absurd idea ever. Some people think that what I do is cool, but a lot of people, even some of my own family, they think it's a complete waste of time. Before I had the inner, I honestly didn't care much about what other people thought. But once you have a child, everything changes. when I think back on my childhood. I think if you raced outdoors, even if you move away from it for a little bit of time, it's always there. It sticks with you. It was a great way to grow up. There was a lot of freedom with everything. My parents brought us everywhere even to places where it was weird bringing kids. To them, having kids never stopped them from doing what they loved, swimming across rivers, 
hiking over glaciers, all kinds of things. After I left home, my parents supported my adventures in a way that I'm amazed by sometimes. They gave me incredible trust, but I'm sure they worried, sometimes even rightly so. We were kayaking in the north of Iceland. We had bailed on two waterfalls already. And then we saw another one. And it wasn't even super high, maybe like six meters. And I decided to run it. I didn't lunge out far enough. When I came up, I realized I was behind the waterfall in a cave that you couldn't see from the outside. I thought maybe if I would get out of the boat and swim, I would be less buoyant and I would get pushed out. And I just tried it again and again. I just remember holding my breath, my heart pounding in my head. And then just before I passed out, it was just like a strange, good feeling in my whole body. Yeah, but it's it's hard to describe and it's hard to talk about. I got washed up like where the river spread out and I just remember gaining consciousness. thinking about that day for a long time. I think it's perhaps because I didn't want to deal with it. I've sometimes wondered why I survived. Do I have anything important to offer? Maybe it's her. Like my parents did, I share my passion with her in hopes that she'll grow the courage to do life's hardest thing, to choose her own path, not the one society chooses for her. If I could do that, I'll go to the grave a happy man. I don't know if I'm doing her right or if I'll ever know. I think none of us really know what the future holds. But the most important thing is that we're doing it together. There is a house built out of stone Wooden floors, walls and window cells Tables and chairs warm by all of the dust This is a place where I don't feel alone This is a place where I feel at home
Det er for at sørge for, at 